Hello, Marilyn, Janet, Mario, Elizabeth, Luis, and Cecia. Welcome to today's class. How are you doing today? Are you doing good? Yes, teacher. And you? Oh, it's nice to hear that. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Um, so, but yes, right now it's like getting crazy, like the traffic, I guess, because it is payday. Es día de pago, I guess. <laughs> Así que, bueno, let's see if the rest of you um, are getting home early or late. Yes, Luis, thank you so much for letting us know. You're just going to be like listening. Oh, well, at the end of the month, for some of you, it's difficult because of your work or because of the traffic. So thank you so much for being here and making the effort. Just let me know if uh, you're going to be just um, uh, in any difficult situation that doesn't allow you to participate. If not, well, so we're going to continue like regular and normal. And if you have any need, remember that the recording is uh, next day, first time. Ya tienen disponible la grabación de la clase al día siguiente a la primera hora. Así que, pues, por si necesitan ponerse al día, that's okay. Uh, well, yesterday we started discussing about the future with will. Remember? Yeah. Remember or no? Don't remember? No worries. I'm going to share the presentation with you. This is. Okay, so here we go. Now, um, yesterday we started discussing about future and you practiced this conversation. Okay. Eh, practicamos esta conversación. Remember, and then you did a similar one, right? Okay. So then after that conversation, we have this exercise. And as you can see here in the instructions, it says, look at the conversation and complete the sentence. Is referring to this conversation. So by looking at this, you need to complete these sentences. You can do it in your material. It is on page 38. Or if you want, you can do it in your notebooks. I'm going to give you time for you to complete the four statements.
Have you finished? Have you finished completing the statements? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, good. Let me share the materials so that we can check together. Okay. All right, so they were based on the conversation. Okay, can you see my screen? Okay, there we are on exercise three, page 38. Um, you finished and did you do it in your material or in the notebook? In my notebook. In your notebook, okay, not a problem. Uh, so, would you like to share with us the number one? What do you have in number one? I am having a training next week. Excellent, that is correct. I am having a training next week. Thank you so much. And that answer is completely correct. Thank you so much. Uh, number two, what do you have? I am I am taking I am learning training or chicken safety procedure. Uh, kitchen safety. Uh-huh. I am taking. Very good. Thank you so much, Francisco. And so good that you are taking, right? <laughs> so good that you are here. Um I saw that you were having difficulties to get into the meeting, right? And number three, volunteer. I will ask for an e-learning option next time. Excellent, that is completely correct. And finally, number four. I am meeting some <laughs> friends. Mm -hmm. I am meeting. meeting. I am meeting some friends at a conference tonight. That is correct. Thank you so much for your participation. You did an excellent job. So as you can see here, we are expressing future with will and with present continuous. And uh, we will be practicing this as well. Uh, but after this exercise for the vocabulary building in number four, who wants to read the instructions? Instructions for number four, volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you so much. Match the training solutions to their description. Excellent, thank you so much, Cecilia. Okay, and we have the four training solution off-the-shelf training courses, in-house training, shadowing, and mentoring. Okay, so those are the, um, the types of training and we have the descriptions here. So we're going to match what is the number one, two, and three according to the definitions. And we're going to do this in the breakout rooms. So we're going to do it in group. I'm going to create the groups and probably you will need to investigate a little bit so that you can match the, the concept with the definitions. Remember this exercise is on page 38 of your material and we're going to do it in groups. Okay, there you go.
Don Mario no puede compartir la pantalla. La pantalla, más bien que me acabo de conectar, no sé qué, qué había que hacer. Que estaba medio viendo lo que es lo que estaba pasando, pero como yo no lo, yo de mi teléfono no, nunca he podido ahorita. abrir ningún enlace en eso. Marilyn, ahorita comparto la, la pantalla. Ah, ok. Solo que tengo un problema, no puedo, no puedo compartirla. Me parece que tengo inhabilitado la posición para compartir pantalla. Uh -huh. Ahí la ficha tiene que habilitarse. Miss, ¿Sí, ¿me puede ayudar, Miss? Yes, try it again, please. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Lo logran a ver. Sí. Y eso del archivo que envió ahora. Sí, ahora lo envió. ¿Qué hay que hacer? Y eh, tenemos que tenemos que asignar el, el, el significado de, de por lo menos de los cuatro encabezados que están ahí enumerados del uno al, al cuatro. Tenemos que buscar este la descripción de la parte tres o la parte cuatro. En parte 4. En la parte 3 ya se, se elaboró el ejercicio. Ah, sí, que yo. Me había comentado, pero no, no, no había estado.
Okay, uh, volunteer for the first one. What do you have there? How did you match it? Number three, shadowing. Number three, shadowing. Can you read the definition, please? It involves? It involves one employee following another employee, like a shadow, to learn all the aspects of a job. This is especially suitable for new employees as part of their induction. Excellent. Thank, thank you so much, Cecia. And the answer is correct. Thank you so much for reading it. And volunteer for the next one. Volunteer for the next one. Any volunteer for? Hi. Thank you, Mario. Uh, this, uh, of the cell, as number one of the cell training course. Excellent, that is correct. Can you read it, please? Cheaper generic courses, the staff will Join employees from the other businesses on the course. Some of these courses are designed to achieve or count towards a, a particular recognized qualification. Qualification. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mario. And yes, the answer is correct. Thank you so much. Uh, volunteer to continue with the next one. Volunteer. Si no hay. Yes, sure, thank you. Francisco? Yeah. Uh -huh. eh, es a moment. Mentoring. Mentoring, aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Can you read it, please? It involves the informal transmission of knowledge and social capital over a period of time with some face to face meeting use of email and telephone communication. It is essential to have a mentor. Excellent, thank you so much. The answer is correct, Francisco. Thank you for reading for us. And volunteer for the last one. Me, teacher. Abigail. In house training. Correct. Mm -hmm. Number two. <laughs> Is easy. It allows it allows people to learn a tale of place and the upper night knowledge immediately. Immediately. The training, immediately. The training must be technically able. Able. Able to do the task and have the path patience and have patience. the patience. To have the passion that teach or coach. Excellent. Thank you so much for reading, Abigail. Is there any question about the vocabulary or pronunciation? No questions? All right. Let me continue then sharing the PowerPoint. And this is what we already did. Okay, now you can see my screen. Now, uh, for the next slide, we have a uh, explanation about how, look at the examples in the box and 
The a short explanation about the use of will and present progressive to express future. Uh, yesterday we discussed a little bit about it. So now it says it is used to talk about future intentions that are decided at the time of speaking or a spontaneous offers, promises, and decisions. In this case, we use will. And we have some uh, examples there. It says, I will help with the documents. They will ask about e-learning options. And the last one, we will be on time. In the other hand, we have present progressive to express future. It is used when plans and arrangements have been made. So you see the difference is like um, here in this part, spontaneous decisions. And then in the present progressive, we have plans already made. It's they, they are not spontaneous. For example, the manager is flying to Los Angeles for the conference. The servers are having a training this weekend and he is meeting the boss at the airport tomorrow at 6 p.m. And as we discussed yesterday, when we use the present progressive to express future, we need to add a time expression, okay? Um, in most of the cases, do we have any questions with this? Now, um, as we discussed this, we have a short exercise number in part number six. It is on page 39. It says complete the sentences using will or the present progressive. Let's do this in your notebook. If you want to do it in your notebook or if you have the material printed or you want to do it in your PDF file, that's okay. I'll give you time for you to complete. Remember that we are going to use will or present progressive for um, to complete these sentences. I'll give you time. Let me know when you are ready.
Okay, thank you so much, Abigail. Uh, would you like to share with us how did you solve the number two? Number two is I can't come with you on Sunday. I having a training at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. I having a training. Uh, okay. At the mm -hmm. I am. Yes, correct. I am. Okay. Uh -huh. I am having. Yes, the idea is okay. Es, es, um, está bien en la idea, solo que faltaba el verbo be. I am having a training at the restaurant. Very good. Thank you so much for your help and participation. Number three. Hi, teacher. Yeah. Yes. Number three. Yes, please. You look tired. I will help you, you finish the document. Uh-huh. I will help you finish the documents. Yes. Um, the context said that is a spontaneous decision. So yes, will. I will help you finish the documents. Number four. Number four. Me teacher. Thank you, Cecilia. The kitchen manager is flying to Italy on Friday. He, here are the tickets. Excellent. Thank you so much, Cecilia. And yeah, from... teacher, uh -huh. the, tengo una gran duda con la número 5 porque es, ahí no dice como tiny expressions, pero eh, no sé, como que el contexto puede dar también a, a un present progressive. Uh -huh. Sí, eso es la decía, la mayoría del tiempo llevan time expressions. Eh, pero no siempre. Ajá. Y sí, por el contexto, como usted menciona, lo más probable es el present progressive. Okay. Porque, uh -huh. Uh -huh, exacto. Igual que el ejercicio que acabamos de resolver, que es el 4, ¿verdad? Ah, bueno, ese sí dice que el viernes. Ajá, uh -huh. Friday. Pero, okay. pero sí, con cosas de vuelo, eh, En el ejercicio anterior creo que estaba una que no decía, pero era de, de, de un vuelo. Esas son cosas que pues hay que hacer una planificación para, para agarrar un ticket, para pagar, etc. Entonces es como que el contexto dice es presente progresivo, eh, aunque no lleve time expression, la mayoría del tiempo sí la lleva. Okay. Pero muy, es muy buen trabajo el que, que vea usted que por el contexto lo más probable es present progressive porque... Si dice the owner es el propietario, va a llegar a hablar sobre soluciones de entrenamiento. Entonces, este, hay, un, hay una agenda. Eh, Ajá, es como que se, se programó. Un programa no va a llegar así por así a reunir a la gente de la nada, ¿verdad? Para hablarle de eso. Y previamente él tiene que estar preparado con la información que le va a ir a dar a las personas. Entonces, sí. Muy bien, y pues gracias eh, por, por compartir la duda y pues ahí nos queda el tip, ¿verdad? Porque también es, es, es un tip el que diga, bueno, por el contexto, eh, lo analizo así y es present progressive. Thank you, teacher. Well, you're welcome. Thank you for your participation. So, yes, number five, the owner. Entonces quedaría is coming. The owner is coming to talk to us about training solutions. And then number six. A volunteer for number six. Does anybody has? He isn't working next week. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That is correct. 
He isn't working next week. Now let's continue then with this. We have this conversation about making plans. As you see, it was are in a cafe. Two employees. Let's see what are they talking about. So you have this in your presentation, but let me share the audio with you. Um, uh, okay. Okay, here is the conversation. Let me play the recording for you. And then you tell me if you have questions that can be about any new word or pronunciation. Let's listen. Unit 15. I'm going to a soccer match. Page 100, exercise two, conversation. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until 5. So let's go around 6. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, do you have any question? Hi, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, what does it mean after a war? After war. After war is como decir más adelante. Más adelante o después. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there any other question? Any other question? No, teacher. No? Okay, I'm going to play the recording one more time and I will give you time for you to repeat after each interaction and you can practice at home and then we're going to do it uh, in groups. Unit 15. I'm going to a soccer match. Page 100, exercise 2, conversation. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until 5. So let's go around 6. Okay. Afterward, Maybe we can get some dinner.
Sounds great. Okay, so now it is time to practice. Let's do this in the breakout rooms. Remember that you have the conversation in the PowerPoint presentation that I sent to the WhatsApp group. And we're going to practice in the breakout rooms, then in the main session, and we will listen to the rest of the conversation as a listening exercise. Es esta, ¿verdad? Uh, yes, that's You are Lynn and I am Miguel. Okay. Okay. Uh, say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? Okay, boy. I do. I'd love to, but I can. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could we could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after work, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay. okay, now I am Lynn and you are Miguel. Okay. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? Oh, bowling? Um, I'd love to, but I came. I'm going to soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you do are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go them. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around seat. Okay. After war, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, thank you so much. Who is next? Me. 
Ok. Sí. Adelante, Miguel. Thank you. Say, Miguel. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to watch. I can. I am going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We will go ten. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work at the fight. So let's go around six. Okay, after work, maybe we can get something tiny. Sound right. Okay. Okay. Sigur Lane. Say Miguel. Where are you going tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but again, I go to the soccer as with me, my brother. Oh, well, maybe some another time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call the train. Tomorrow, song. I I going to work only five. So let's go around six. Okay. After work, maybe we can get some diner. Sounds great. Thank okay, you've been doing great. So just a couple of words, solo unas cuantas palabras que escuche. Vamos a practicar para reforzar un poquito. Quiero ver, creo que la primera es around. Aquí, ¿dónde está Miguel? Around. Es out. Around. So let's go around six. And then dinner. Uh -huh. We can get some dinner. Dinner. Y sounds. Sound. Sounds. Sounds great. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're doing it very good. It's only those three words. Continue practicing. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hay que seguir. Bye. De nuevo, uh, así como estamos. Nosotros. Okay. Uh, say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? But yo or Janet? Sí, usted, Mari. Ah, okay. I do love too, but I can. I'm, I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go them. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. After work, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Ahora con Janet. Okay. Uh, say me, okay. what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go jump. Tomorrow is on fine. I go to work until fine. So let's go around six. Oh. Okay, after work, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you.
case. I heard some of you practicing. We are going to role play in the main section and complete the listening part. But before that, I'm going to check attendance. So um, let's see. Let's be ready and say present as soon as you hear your name. Okay, what's today's dates? Very good. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present. Thank you. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Balmore Alexander Marroquín. Balmore Alexander Marroquín. Present teacher. Thank you, Balmore. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Thank you, Carlos. I see that you wrote in the chat. Cecia Noemi Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, Cecia. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Thank you. Hazel Panesa. Present. Thank you, Hazel. Julissa Yamilet Villalta. Present teacher. Thank you, Julissa. Carla Ivania Anaya. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Catherine Beatriz Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Magdiel Esaú García. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilina Alejandra Grande. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martínez. Present. Thank you. Mirra Yanet Ángel. Hola. Present teacher. Thank you, Mirna. Santos Cristina Cerritos. Present teacher. Thank you, Cristina. And uh, Victor Noé Bonilla. Thank you so much, Victor. I see that you wrote in the chat. All right. Let's listen to some of you. I heard that you were practicing and you were doing very good. We just have to improve a couple of words, like, for example, around. Please remember out, out. So we have around. Around six, okay. So let's go around six. And the other, remember that's dinner, dinner. Sounds, sounds, sounds great, sounds great. And those are the only three words that I heard that we need to reinforce. Do we have two volunteers to role play this? For the main section, Marilyn, thank you, Marilyn, um, and Cecia. Okay. Okay, Marilyn. Okay. Yes, si usted empieza, empiezo yo, como gusto. I first. Okay. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. 
Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go them. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after work. Maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Excellent. And you did it excellent. And it sounds very natural. So thank you so much and congratulations. You did it great. Do we have two more volunteers? Magdiel? And who wants to help Magdiel? Janet. Thank you. Hey, Miguel. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after work, uh, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Excellent. Thank you so much. You did it excellent. And it sounds really pretty good, very fluent. Do we have two more? The last two. The last two for tonight. Nobody else? Melanie, thank you, Melanie, and Mario. I'm Lynn. Um, San Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I think I am going to a soccer mass with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We go with them. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after work, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Fantastic, awesome. Thank you so much for uh, practicing with us. You did it excellent. It sounds very fluent, natural. And also you, went, uh, you were linking words like, but I can't. Uh, también hicieron Lincoln, so excellent. Very good. Thank you so much for uh, practicing in the main section. You did it excellent. So now let's continue with part B. On part B, aquí donde pueden ver, este es solo para ejercitar el listening. Uh, it says listen to the rest of the conversation. When are they going to have dinner? And who are they going to meet after dinner? So we're going to listen and you will have to answer these two questions. When are they going to have dinner? And who are they going to meet after dinner? Let me share sound with you. And uh, let's listen and try to get that information. Page 100, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. When are they going to have dinner? Who are they going to meet after dinner? After we're done bowling, do you want to go to the Chinese palace for dinner? Sure. I love their food. We can go around 8 o'clock. That's not too late. You know, maybe Jason can join us. Yeah. Hey, Jason, what are you doing tomorrow night? Do you want to join Miguel and me for dinner? We're going to the Chinese palace at 8. I have to work till 8.30, but why don't I meet you afterward? That'd be great, Jason. Do you want to listen again? Yes, yes. please. Okay. Page 100, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. When are they going to have dinner? Who are they going to meet after dinner? After we're done bowling, do you want to go to the Chinese palace for dinner? 
Sure, I love their food. We can go around eight o'clock. That's not too late. You know, maybe Jason can join us. Yeah. Hey, Jason, what are you doing tomorrow night? Do you want to join Miguel and me for dinner? We're going to the Chinese Palace at eight. I have to work till eight thirty. But why don't I meet you afterward? That'd be great, Jason. Did you get the information? They are going to the Chinese palace. Yes, they are going to have dinner to the Chinese palace. That's the name of the restaurant. <laughs> Excellent. When? When are they going to have dinner? Let's listen again. After Page 100, one. Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. When are they going to have dinner? Who are they going to meet after dinner? After we're done bowling, do you want to go to the Chinese palace for dinner? Sure. I love their food. We can go around 8 o'clock. That's not too late. You know, maybe Jason can join us. Yeah. Hey, Jason, what are you doing tomorrow night? Do you want to join Miguel and me for dinner? We're going to the Chinese palace at 8. I have to work till 8.30, but why don't I meet you afterward? That'd be great, Jason. Okay, so now, when are they going to have dinner? After game bowling. After they're done bowling, excellent. After bowling. Now, um, who are they going to meet after dinner? Who are they going to meet after dinner? Jason. Uh, yes, um, to their friend Jason. Excellent. There you get the information. So let's move and continue with the next part. In our presentation, we have the future with present continuous and with be going to. Um, Esta es una práctica de ambas estructuras. Eh, decíamos el futuro con el presente continuo y el be going to. En el presente continuo y en be going to, en ambos se utiliza el verbo to be. Se usa am, is, o are. Entonces, eh, con el presente continuo tenemos que utilizar el verbo to be, am, is, are más el verbo principal con una forma gerundio, gerund o lo que le llamamos ing. For example, we have this question, what are you doing tonight? I am going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I am not. So en esta Pues recuerden, presente continuo, ya saben que va pues am, is, are y el verbo principal con ing. Con, cuando lo expresamos con be going to, vamos a utilizar el verbo to be siempre am, is, or are. Luego la expresión going to y luego de going to el verbo principal en su forma original. No le vamos a agregar Nada, eh, no es en ING, nada. Si se fijan, what is she going to do? Ahí está el verbo sin modificarse. Um, she's going to work. No le agregamos S, no le agregamos ING. El verbo tiene que ir en infinitivo. Después de going to, 
Recuerden, verbo en infinitivo. Y acá tenemos este ejercicio de completar las invitaciones en la columna A con el presente continuo. Y luego completar las respuestas en la parte B con be going to. Entonces recuerden que en la parte A de este lado van a usar presente continuo. Y en la parte B van a utilizar el be going to. Luego van a match the invitations in column A with the responses in column B and practice. Entonces está. Vamos a utilizar, recuerden, en la parte A, presente continuo. En el lado del B, be going to. Luego vamos a unir las invitaciones con las respuestas y la vamos a practicar. Any question about the exercise? No questions? Okay, let me go ahead and create the breakout rooms for you to complete this exercise. Sorry, I don't have this presentation. Um, I sent it before the class. Did you check the WhatsApp group? Ah, okay, teacher. Yes, check if you have it, and if not, I'm going to resend it or share for you to be able to take a screenshot. Check yes, there is. Okay. Yes, there is in, 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 in WhatsApp. All right.
Vaya, la otra sería... I am going, going to be. Así sería, ¿verdad? Sí, I am going to be. Pero es que ahí... Sí, el verbo original tendría... I'm going to be. I am going to be here on Saturday. Well, my father is going to visit. Is going to visit. Uh -huh. But my mother and I are going to see. Sí. No. Sí, vea. Pregunta, no, es una oración. Ah, perdón. Sí. This is my brother at college, but my mother and I are going are to... Here. My oh. mother and I, así, ah, nosotros. Um, sorry, I can't. I am going to work. work. Mm -hmm. I'm going to work. Over time tonight, how about tomorrow night? We can go to the show. I am going to stay. Mm -hmm. I am going to stay. Mm -hmm. Y nos falta la 4, vean, del columna A. Are you... Ah, esta faltó. <risa> Are you... Sí. Ah, se pregunta. Ah. Are you... Stay. Uh -huh. Are you... Are you staying? Uh -huh. Same. Así sería ahora. Sí, ING. Okay. Uh -huh. Así. Uh -huh. In town next weekend, do you want to go for a. Bye. Y de ahí creo que no. ahora. Luna A, Wicca. Tenemos la invitación. Columna B. Ah, la, la, la pregunta con la respuesta, la columna B. Ah. La, le recibe, ¿verdad? Ajá. We're doing tonight. Would you like to go out? Y le dice, sorry. I can, I am going to work over time tonight. How about tomorrow night? No sé si sería esa. ¿Con cuál? Perdón. La uno con la... Ah, con la C. 
Sorry. Porque le está preguntando ah, qué va sí, a hacer esta noche, vea. Ajá. Sorry, mm. I can't. I'm going to work overtime tonight. Ajá. Oh, wow, for a night. Sí, there sí. There sí. Vamos a ver si lo ponemos así. A ver si. Tomorrow night. Friday. La número dos sería, no sé si es la de... Pues es que puedo ir más tarde al show, dice. Podemos ir más tarde al show. Es que no sé, no estoy segura. Es que no hay ninguna que mencione el viernes. Porque el otro es el fin de semana. Menciona sábado y domingo. Que es la letter A. Letter B. Nada que ver. <risa> y la letter D. Maybe. Tal vez. Ah, tal vez. Ah, es que no, no. La otra dice. Where hi. Tendremos. Una Where barbacoa. Friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Con tus padres ir. Ah, ahí. Sí, la letter B. Ajá. Larry. Vamos a ir descartando la que sobra. Sí, sí, la que nos sobra es la dos. <ríe> la well, my father is going to visit my brother at college, but my mother and I are going to be home. We'd love to come. See you. Uh -huh. Ok. La cuatro. Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? Larry. Hey. Uh -huh. Do you want to go for a ah, pues sí, ready. Ah, verdad. Eh, eh. Es que la única que más o menos. Ajá, más o menos. Aunque no, es que dice show, por eso podremos llegar más tarde al show. Uh -huh. Podemos llegar más tarde al show. I am going. Yo estaré hasta uh -huh. las 7. Yes. Bye. And practice. Okay. Um, I ask and you answer. Okay. What are you doing tonight? Would you like go to go out? Sorry, I can. I am going going to work overtime tonight. Hop. About tomorrow night. Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Can we go to a lady show? I am going to stay at the office till seven. We're having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? Well, my father isn't going to visit my brother at college, but my mother and I are going to be home. We love to come. Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? I am going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and 
let's try and go on Saturday. Ok. No sé si los demás quieren practicar. Claro que sí, solo tengo ahí una pequeña duda con el, con el literal B, donde dice, but my mother and I are, como que no concuerda, no es, es que am. No, lo que pasa es que como mi madre y yo, vea, sería uh -huh. nosotros. Nosotros. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ok. Si solo fuera I, sí sería am. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sería va. Ok. I. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y esa duda tenía. Así. No, no hay problema. Bueno, Francisco y Janet. Bueno. Ok, Janet, ¿lista? Okay. Bueno. Hola, hola, Janet. What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Sorry, I can't. I'm going to work overtime tonight. How about tomorrow night? Are you doing uh, anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Can we go to lay show? I am going to stay at the office till uh, seven o'clock. We are having friends over for for a Sunday. Would you and your first life to come? Well, my father is going to visit my brother at college, but my mother and, and I are going to be home. We love to come. Are you taking um, no? Come and come next weekend. Do you want to go for a hike? Hike. I am going to be here a Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and go Saturday. Okay. Invertimos, usted me pregunta y yo le contesto. Ok, está bien. Uh -huh. What are you doing tonight? Would you like to, to go out? I can, I, I am going to work over time tonight. How about, how about tomorrow night? Uh -huh. Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Can we go to a late show? I am going to stay at the office till 7 o'clock. We are having friends. Over for a barbecue of Sunday. Do you and your parents like to come? Mm, well, my father is going to visit my brother mm. at college, but my mother and I, I are going to visit him. We're glad to come. Are you saying? I in town next weekend. Do you want to go for a hike? I am going to be here on Sunday, but not Sunday. Let's try and go to Saturday.
Okay, I heard it two uh, groups practicing and see the exercise was correct so let me make it this is smaller so that you can see it complete i think here we are okay so as you can see here are the answers and i saw that you did it correctly Okay, so this is um, what you should have. What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? In number two, are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Number three. We're having friends over for barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? Number four, are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? And then in the part of the answers, we have letter A. I'm going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and go on sa Saturday. Better be well. My father is going to visit my brother at college. My mom and I are going to be home. We'd love to come. Letter C. Sorry, I can't. I'm going to work overtime tonight. How about tomorrow night? And letter D. We can go to a late show, but I'm going to stay at the office until seven. Now. For the next part, I'm going to give you time to write your own responses. Van a escribir sus propias respuestas a las preguntas que acabamos de completar. Que son esas. De la 1 a la 4. Okay. So you answer number one. What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Esa pregunta, así como las, las demás eh, restantes, hasta la cuatro, ustedes tienen que dar su propia respuesta. Por ejemplo, en la uno, what are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? I would say, sorry, I can't. I have to send the grades report for the group that finishes today. And also, I have to upload my videos on YouTube. Esa sería una respuesta que yo daría a esa pregunta. What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go? So I would have to say, sorry. I have to upload my videos in YouTube. And also, um, I'm having um, reports updates later. So, yes, I have a lot of things to do. <laughs> what about you? Les voy a dar tiempo para que escriban sus propias respuestas para esas cuatro invitaciones. Remember to use be going to or present continuous in your answers. Voy a dejar de compartir un momentito y les voy a mandar las preguntas al... Bueno, las puedo poner aquí en el chat. Ahí las puse en el chat. Y se la voy a poner en WhatsApp también para quienes se les haga más fácil encontrarlas en WhatsApp. Ahí está. Listo.
finish writing your answers? Finish writing your responses? Not yet, teacher. I'm writing. Okay. You're driving? Uh, no, I'm writing. Oh, writing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you still have time, no worries. Thank you.
Are you ready? Finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, so can you give me your response for number one? What are you doing? What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Sorry, I can't. I'm going to sleep because I'm going to get up early. But excellent. I can see you tomorrow in the afternoon. Okay, excellent. Very good, Cecilia. Thank you so much. Thank you. Another volunteer for number one? Do we have other volunteer? What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Me, teacher. Thank you, Magdia. Uh, about the number one. Yes. What are <laughs> you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Okay. Sorry, I wouldn't. I'm going to study tonight at 8 p.m. Could be the next week. Excellent. I know you have to complete the platform. <laughs> now you already <laughs> did it, right? Yeah. <laughs> you complete it. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. I it. Mm -hmm. By the way, congratulations. I have um like six of you that already complete the full platform. That um but the rest um I still missing some people and just let's see. One uh, person has not completed any of the exercises in the platform. Excellent, Carlos. Yes, I see that you also completed all. Eh, Carlos Humberto también ha completado ya toda la plataforma. Son seis personas las que pues ya salieron de ese compromiso y lo hicieron excelente. Eh, con 100 todas. So, great. Um, April de Marta. Yeah, you too. Yes. <laughs> Francisco también es uno de los seis que ya completaron mm. la plataforma. So congratulations. No, 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 no. Yes. Tengo una, una consulta. Todavía tengo un inconveniente con solo con una, una pregunta de 4.5. 4.5. Sí. Ok. Ahorita la podemos ver y mañana vamos a seguir con lo de este. Mañana seguimos con, con las eh, preguntas estas y las respuestas. Eh, porque de todos modos ahorita ya pues ya casi se nos termina el tiempo. Pero pues podemos chequear el ejercicio que le está haciendo falta a Francisco. Pero me pareció que lo vi completo, Francisco. 4.5 no. me dijo. Sí, en la última. Creo que eso no lo es. Ah, eso lo hicimos la vez pasada. Tiene que ir en forma corta. Eh, un... Ya lo agregué. Perdón, ya lo agregué así y no me deja pasar. Ahí se lo puse en el chat de la miren. Tal vez sea el apóstrofe que no le está poniendo el apóstrofe, sino que tilde. Trata de copiar y pegar así como está en el chat de la miren. Borre, okay. refresque y péguelo así como se lo he puesto ahí. Okay. Y me sí, ya, lo había, ya lo había tomado de allí y pues igual me aparece. Ahorita ya intentó de nuevo. Sí. Y no, no le funciona. No, no me funciona. Y es la única. Por eso no he pasado con el examen final. <risa> Mm, that's weird. Voy a, hacer, ajá, voy a seguir con, con, con el ejemplo que usted me acaba de enviar. Y, uh -huh. Si no, pues igual lo voy a reportar mañana. Sí, cópielo y péguelo. Y luego lo hace en la plataforma. Bórrelo, refresque y péguelo así como se lo mandé ahí. Y si no, habría que reportarlo. ¿Alguien más le ha dado problema ese ejercicio aún haciéndolo así como está? A mí, pero ahorita que lo copié, ya me salió. Ah, ya me salió bueno. correcto. Ok, muy bien. Espero que también le funcione, Francisco, y si no, pues lo reportamos. Y okay. con la asistencia, pues ya veo que todos siguen acá, los mismos 19 han estado presentes en toda la mini. 
y yo les tomé la asistencia también segunda parte en lo que estaban haciendo sus eh, respuestas. Mañana vamos a continuar con esto y recuerden si por favor si hay algún tema que quieren que repasemos me lo hacen saber para preparar las clases porque básicamente solo nos queda en la clase de mañana terminamos ya con los temas del, eh, del manual y nos faltarían cinco clases que estas serían para repaso creo que cinco sí, cinco clases faltarían a partir de mañana entonces, piensen en qué temas quieren que practiquemos y yo les preparo las clases para esos temas que ustedes me dicen. Y si no, pues voy a tomar todos los temas del manual intermedio que acabamos de, eh, de estar viendo en estas semanas anteriores. Eh, esperaría mejor saber qué es lo que quisieran ustedes eh, repasar y no hacerlo yo eh, así. Sin saber, ¿verdad? Ustedes son los que saben y consideran y sienten necesidad de practicar algún tema. Preferiría que me lo digan ustedes. Así que piénsenlo y mañana me cuentan. Ok, so thank you so much for joining today and see you tomorrow. Thank, thank you, teacher. Have a good night, teacher. Good night. Catch you later. Bye. Bye.